Hey, I'm Guy. I'm John. It's our YouTube channel. Subscribe to it. Give this video a like. Podcast below in the description, separate from the content we're doing right here. Also, check out our sponsor of this video, wineaccess.com slash ham. Gets you 20% off some of the world's best wine. Yep. Wineaccess.com slash ham, 20% off. How do you beat it, guy? How do you beat it? 20% off. Send a gift to your friends. Satisfaction guaranteed, and you will be satisfied. All right, John. Uh, NFL schedule released week one. NFL, we'll talk about the top five games in another video, but for the purpose of this conversation, the Niners get the Lions on the road week one. This is a 10 a.m. body clock game. I love this game for the 49ers. I, what did I say last year? I And I love, you know, I'm, a, I'm pro Jared Goff, but he has been their favorite quarterback to play in the last couple of seasons. I think if you're D'Amico Ryan, you go, the Niners defensive coordinator, you go, I know what this game plan looks like. Sweet. I totally agree. It's You have a brand new quarterback, that, but you know him, right, who's breaking in with his new team. New coaching staff. I mean, they blew everyone out. This is a game that I, I think I saw the early line, six and a half, seven. Like the, the Niners, especially if Jimmy Garoppolo is the starter, should win this game pretty easily. And I, I do think big picture, it's just something we're going to keep an eye on. Loose reports are that the Eagles are game two. So, you know, you go with the Lions and then the Eagles, two teams who, let's face it, aren't going to be that good. Two teams that are breaking in brand new coaches. Now, Dan Campbell has been a head coach before. And I, I do think he like he's not going to be over his skis just in the preparation that week. Motor City Kitties. Sirianni doing pa rock, paper, scissors. But you're getting Jared Goff and Jalen Hurts like that. That's a pretty. Like, I, I hate doing this game. Actually, I don't. I love doing this game. I mean, <laughs> anything less than two and zero is a disaster, right? Yeah, because it means that Kyle Shanahan will have lost to either Dan Campbell, due respect, or Nick Sirianni, which would, in some ways, be worse. And um, those teams are like resetting their franchises, right. kind of, and you're just kind of rolling in. You're a team that's. Most people are picking, and rightfully so, to get back to the playoffs to be a double-digit win team. Now, I the couple things that, I mean, obviously the schedule release coming out later tonight, the Thursday night games, your East Coast games, these clearly, you're playing the Eagles and Lions, like these are 10 a.m. kickoff games. So that is a body clock. It is something to keep an eye on. Do they stay out on the East Coast to start the season? But this game, I... It's a 17 week season. I I don't care, guy. It's a must. You can't fucking lose the Lions week one, right? And I no, you can't. And it's <laughs> especially because, and we'll, we can get to the Trey Lance, Jimmy Garoppolo part of this, but you don't need your best. You shouldn't at least need your best game from your quarterback to win these games, right? Um, in terms of the 10 a.m., always a consideration. Having your 10 a.m. week one means you're not coming off of another game before your 10 a.m. Uh, you know you're going to have to have. You knew you were playing the Lions on the road, so you knew you knew you were playing the Eagles on the road, right? You knew those games, right? You knew you'd have 10 a.m.s. I like to get. I do like having some of them early, so you're not doing them. Agree. You can avoid them. You know, week 15 when you're coming off of whatever. Um, so I do like that element of it as well. Does this affect the way you look at Trey Lance and Jimmy Garoppolo? Really quick though, the counter on that would be. Anytime you get a team that's probably not going to be very good like the Lions, week one, probably September, like you might get their best shot. Like so it's easier maybe to get, get them in November when they're, you know, two and nine. You know, yeah, you might just, get their best. I, it, it's, I don't, you said this the other day when we were talking about it, so I'll flip it back around at you. Yeah, it could be that. Could also be that Panay Sewell's making his first career start and Panay Sewell would be a better week 13 than he would be week one, right? For sure. They yeah. could be better. It depends. It depends what kind of operation. If Dan Campbell's running a good operation, then they should be better week 12 than they are week one. But you're right. You never know. I mean, the Jags, was that week one the Jags beat the Colts last year? Yeah. So you're right. It's Things happen. Week one is, yeah, we've I, talked about, you and I have done this for years. Week one is a very weird week, uh, usually in the NFL. For sure. Like, it, you know, we'll talk about the point spreads really for the next like three or four months. But that week one, it is a little hard to gauge without understanding the teams big picture Trey Lance like if you told me the opening couple games were Seattle then the Packers or just one two I'd be like well Jimmy has to start you go Lions Eagles like obviously Trey would have to be awesome in the OTAs training camp in the preseason games 
But it is a landing spot that if he is better than Jimmy Garoppolo, that you could justify soft landing. Even though they're road games? That hurts how soft they are a little bit. Yeah, I mean, even though they're road games, but they're playing bad teams. Yeah. You know, they're playing teams. Like, I, I don't think your your first start as as a rookie has to be home or road. I mean, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to do it no matter what, right? Yeah. I mean, I, did, I, I'm not saying I, I mean, I, I would say Jimmy's the starter injury preventing basically 90 percent. But there definitely is a percentage that you go and open minded. Let's just see how this guy looks. If he's dramatically better, they just traded the farm. So it, it wouldn't be crazy at all if they said Trey Lance is the starter. Well, fuck, I hope he's good enough right sooner than later. Now, yeah. it would be a little alarming that he was that good that fast. It'd be like, damn, maybe they really struck oil here yeah you'd be like well they, they paid a lot for the oil rig i'm like yeah that's true <laughs> it's it's also so. it's also the kind of game that if even if you were to win it but garoppolo doesn't play great it's the kind of game that gets a conversation about trey lance started very quickly right e- either oh. a if you lose one of, if you lose this game or b if you win the game but garoppolo doesn't look really good if we got ourselves we're sitting on the couch and it's 17 17 in the, in like going into the fourth quarter and like this doesn't quite look right you know yep that clock is on remember the conversation started last year with jimmy week one and and there wasn't anyone to replace him yeah i I think we'd come out and be like you just start him in philly if jimmy was bad i mean yeah it it, you could if, if jimmy was bad and he was the reason they were in a tight game i think what would worry you is if he wasn't very good and the game was tight and you had some issues on defense and you go well i I don't know. We hopefully we can just get him better week two, protect the football. But anything is on the table when you have a situation like the Niners have, right? And oh, there's also oh. the here's the reverse. Jimmy plays. This is a, a it's it's not just Trey Lance that could use a soft landing spot. Garoppolo could use one too, right? Given everything he's been through, all the attention on him, all the pressure on him, what camp will be like for him. This is also his opportunity to just kind of. Have a week where you put your foot in the ground and go, he's the future, but right now this is still my job, and it's not going to be easy to take it from me. Not a soft landing spot for our boy Dan Campbell, though. Not a soft landing spot for him. Certainly not a soft landing spot for Goff, um, but a great opportunity for the 49ers. I mean, I, I think, uh, you know, you and I go through this. There is, It's not hard for us to find something about every game that is interesting. This one will have a lot to it. Uh, and I guess you're right. From a Lions standpoint, it is an opportunity for them. Like, everyone's making fun of kneecap biting. What if they come out and look good? And you go, oh, okay, maybe we got to take this thing seriously. The good thing if you're Jared Goff, that $30-plus million salary is all guaranteed. It's true, but you don't want to <laughs> For a be, couple years. Yeah, that's true. It's true. But that'll be a great week one. I mean, Panay Sewell, Nick Bosa. Let's get it on, baby. That's a great matchup on a premium. No, it pick. really is. I mean, that, that that is a very very intriguing matchup. So a lot here. Um, it, it, it's a game on paper. Their defense isn't very good. That the Niners should put up some points. I think that, that the biggest. Is, did I see that the biggest favorite of Week One at this point, as of uh, May twelfth? <laughs> Packers Packers Saints not on the board. Like that's one. Now you talk about a, a not a soft landing. What if Jordan Love has to start at the Saints Week One? Well, to me, if Jordan Love starting one of the biggest stories in the league is Aaron Rodgers on another team. Right. <laughs> that, to me, is probably the biggest story in the league. Well, well it definitely is. I'm just saying going to New Orleans, as Aaron is playing somewhere else, all yeah. of a sudden, like, Broncos-Giants would look really attractive. Or Is that the week one game? There, there's a couple, as I said, we'll do another video on this. There's a couple duds. Um, yeah, Jags-Texans Jags, uh, ain't really moving the needle for me. Yeah, Broncos-Giants. No. All right, but this was about Niners-Lions. We love that first game.